Hi, dear programming and trading interested friends. I wanted to show you some things that I've built in uh, Java using JFreeChart in IntelliJ. Uh, the first project that I would like to show you is um, this UFinder that I made. It looks for U shapes in uh, market data. And for that, I've built a adjustable U shape. And I can adjust the shape with this slider. What I've done is I took a part of a sine function and I've distorted it with a distortion function. And uh, I put a power over the sine function. It takes this shape and drags it over the data and it assigns a fit value. And the better the fit, the lower the value. And then I have an adjustable threshold. And anytime there's a low under a threshold, it accepts it as a fit. So that's quite nice. And then I can step through the data using this little box here. Usually I have them on my other screen, but for this movie, I've put them on this screen. So that's working out nicely. Um, this project is just getting started, so there's going to be a lot of adjustments, but I really just wanted to show what I can do with JFreeChart. And uh, one of the cool things that I did is implement timeline and for that, I want to show you this project that I did. Uh, if you've ever tried to use JFreeChart to plot market data, you may have found that it's very difficult to uh, remove the weekends. And usually when there's a weekend, you would get a flat data for Saturday and Sunday. So you may want to remove them, but it's difficult to do in JFreeChart you would have to implement something which is called timeline and it has its own segmented timeline, but it doesn't, it's very problematic. So you would have to make your own. And I did that and it was quite difficult. I built it a year ago, but now I can do uh, this with this little box in my other screen. I can step through the days. This is Euro USD, by the way, from uh, 2014. This is the daily chart, the 240, the 16 and the 15 minutes. And I can just step through them. So I can look at the 15 minute chart in context of the daily. And if you've studied market data, then you could agree that it can be interesting to look at sometimes. So this is London seven o'clock and London five o'clock. And, uh, I can study the daily shapes in context of the higher time frames. Um, I hope that you found this interesting and uh, enjoyed it. And if you have any comments, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments. Bye bye.